boots, at least. I'll go purple. Yeah, that's good. What's up, guys? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Um, I'm back, obviously, as you can see that. And today I got a short video for you. It should be fairly short, but um, it's just probably saw by the title of the video I mean you clicked on it so um, today I just have I have well, like right here 10 of them 10 ways to eat healthier on a budget so let's get right into it all right so these aren't in any specific order whatsoever but I just have 10 of them listed so I'm just gonna go down the list and ex explain them I guess so first one is buy in bulk um, this may sound a little weird but it makes sense in a way if you guys know what Sam's Club is you should know what Sam's Club is considering they're with Walmart but um, it's basically just like a buy in bulk store and since that's number one I figured Sam's Club is a great place to go to do that because that's basically what they're based around is just buying in bulk and the reason why this is on the list is because if you buy in bulk typically the more you buy in a product the less it costs like per ounce if that makes any sense whatsoever but if you're buying like a 16 ounce box of cereal let's say that seem is that I don't even know what size boxes of cereal are but if you're buying a box of cereal for like the 16 ounces and it's like four bucks you can get like a 24 ounce box for like five bucks that 24 ounce bulk box for five bucks is much better value than the 16 ounce box so just buying bulk is a good one just because you're maybe spending more in the moment but later on down the road you're gonna be spending less money all right number two seems easy but a lot of us just kind of overlook some things including myself um, that have to do with this but is look for sales a lot of people just look for exactly what they want without regarding like that there could be sales in that same item category so if you're like looking at bread and the bread you want like you need this bread let's get this bread but um <laughs> it's like four bucks a loaf that's I feel like that's expensive for a loaf of bread but I'm just using this as an example but like you got so you're like get your multi-grain wheat bread here that you spend four bucks on every time you go to the store but then you got like the, the off brand over here that's like it happens to be on sale for even a lower price for like two bucks go with the sale the item why are you spending four bucks for a loaf of bread when you could get it for two bucks I don't understand why people do this I do it myself which I think it's ridiculous because you're spending an extra two bucks but I mean go for the cheaper option look for the sales and you're good to go there I guess all right so number three meal plan um I typically have not done this in the past but me doing my research I noticed that a lot of sites and sources say that you should meal plan so I'm gonna basically start meal planning because it seems like a good thing to do I mean what they were saying is that when you meal plan you're more strict on what you're going to eat you're not like um, you don't like say oh I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight for an example or whatever and then like no, half of the day, you're like, no, I think I'm gonna go with corn dogs. Like, you just, you know, just make a meal plan and stick to it. You're gonna eat the meal plan food, which is relatively healthier depending on what your meal plan is. But based on all the other things on the list, your meal plan should be healthier than your typical corn dog. All right, so number four goes with the meal plan. Um, it's make a grocery list based off of your meal plan and stick to it um, a lot of people they'll either go to the grocery store hungry which they'll see something like oh that sounds really good right now I'm gonna put that in my cart but then once they get home after they eat or when they eat at home they no longer want what they bought because they're not hungry anymore so you want to go to the grocery store full or at least after eating so that you don't buy those ridiculous items. But when you are meal planning and making the grocery list based off of your meal plan and you stick to that list, you're only buying what you need specifically for what your meal plan says, for lack of better terms. So whatever you put on your meal plan, if you make your grocery list according to that, 
you're only going to buy the items that are needed to make your meal plan happen. All right, number five is something I typically don't do, but based on my research, I'm probably going to start doing it now. But it's just buy fresh produce, produce when they're in season. When it's out of season, it's gonna be more expensive. So when you buy the food you know you're gonna need in the future, buy it, a lot of it. When it's in season, freeze it, so that when it's out of season and more expensive in the store, you already have the food or the produce that's in season and you bought it for cheaper when it was in season if that makes any sense at all so you have your food it's in season you buy it in bulk so it's cheaper and then when it's out of season you eat that food that you froze so that you're not spending more money because the food is out of season Ugh. Okay, so I'm hoping this looks the same as it was before in the video, but my camera just turned off, so I had to go turn it back on. So I'm hoping this looks the same. I don't know if it does, but yeah, that's it. So the last one was cook at home. All right, we're gonna do number seven now, seven. I already, I've already, I've already said this, but it's, cook larger portions so you have leftovers. So yeah, that's that's number seven. All right, number eight is buy cheap protein, like uh, cheap cuts of meat. So instead of buying chicken breasts, you buy chicken thighs, and then, or buy like nuts, because that's a good source of fats and proteins, and then um, eggs. Believe it or not, eggs are kind of cheap. They're high in protein, so they're kind of a good thing to buy when you're trying to buy healthier food for cheaper. And with the eggs, obviously it comes with what I said for number six, which is cook at home. I feel like the eggs would definitely help that. Yeah. Number nine. I don't I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys see this one, all right? Here, I have no idea if it's in focus or not. I don't have a camera person and it's sitting by my window so the lighting's all right. Number nine, I don't know if you can, right, right there, it says buy, oh wait, I clicked the wrong one. Oh well, it says buy whole, buy whole un, oh wait, that's in parentheses, I shouldn't have said that. Buy whole foods, they're cheaper and healthier. So basically just buy unprocessed foods, because they're not processed, they're healthier, and they're going to be cheaper than your processed foods. All right, and number 10, okay? Moment you've all been waiting for, even though they're not in order at all, it's just the 10th one I happen to write down. Don't buy things that you know you aren't gonna eat. That goes along with the going to the store when you're hungry. If you're passing the Oreos, if you're just like rolling down your cart, you know, rolling down the aisle in your cart, with your cart, not in your cart. It could be someone in your cart if you got a kid, but for me, I don't, so I'm just rolling my cart down the aisle. Look to my right. I happen to be starving and I'm looking at those Oreos down there. And they're looking really good. But I know I shouldn't eat them. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them anyway. That's not what you do. You don't do that. You eat before going to the store. So when you're rolling down the aisle, you look at them Oreos and you roll right by them. Because you are stronger than those Oreos. You don't need them. You don't need those Oreos. Same thing could go for, like, I don't know, if you're not into Asian food, I don't, that seems like just the most randomest thing I could have said, but if you're not into Asian food, you're hungry, you're going down the Asian food aisle, if that's what it's called, and you see something that looks good, and you grab it, but then you go home after you eat, and you don't want it. So you knew you weren't gonna want it in the future, but yet you still bought it because it was a good thing to buy in the moment and you just wasted six bucks on a bag of brown rice. That was a bad example because brown rice is a good thing to buy. 
All right, since I said it, number 11, buy brown rice. Or white, or what rice, just rice in general. Rice is cheap, rice is easy, it's filling, it's healthy. Just buy rice, just do it. Just buy rice, that's about it. So, that's all I have on my list, and then some, because I added the 11. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, please like the video if you did, and subscribe for more tips. I hope this helps. I tried, at least. So, that's basically all I have for you today. And I know this was a cheesy outro in my last video, video but I just gotta say it again because um, it's just, it kind of works with my channel, I guess. So, I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment any questions you may have. Like I said in the last video, I will get them, I will get back to them. So, um, that's, that's all I have for you. So, hope you guys have a great day. Literally just said that, but I'll say it again, and uh, just be yourself. Peace out, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness.